Under the scorching Arabian sun, along the turquoise shores of a vast ocean, lived a poor fisherman named Omar. His days were spent casting his net, hoping for a bountiful catch to feed his family. One particularly unlucky afternoon, after hours of fruitless attempts, Omar decided to call it a day. With a sigh of disappointment, he reeled in his net, expecting nothing more than seaweed and disappointment. To his surprise, the net felt unusually heavy. With a grunt and a pull, Omar managed to drag it onto the shore. But instead of fish, a plume of emerald smoke erupted from the net, swirling and billowing into the sky. As the smoke cleared, a colossal figure materialized, a powerful genie with flowing robes, a booming voice, and a scowl that could curdle milk. Foolish mortal, the genie roared, his voice echoing across the beach. You have released me from my prison. For this, you shall pay the ultimate price. Omar, trembling with fear, fell to his knees. Visions of fiery doom and endless servitude flashed before his eyes. Just as the genie raised his hand to unleash his wrath, Omar, his mind racing, blurted out, Wait. Are you sure you were imprisoned in that tiny net? It seems an awfully small place for such a magnificent being as yourself. The genie, taken aback by the unexpected question, paused for a moment. Indeed, he boomed, puffing out his chest. I was trapped for centuries in that cramped vessel. Omar, sensing an opportunity, continued, Perhaps your immense power has shrunk you down? Maybe if I return you to the net, your magic will break the spell and restore you to your true size. The genie, blinded by his own arrogance and the logic of Omar's words, rumbled in agreement. With a flourish, he shrunk himself down and allowed Omar to reseal him in the net. Once trapped, the genie's anger turned to frustration. He bellowed and threatened, demanding his release. But Omar, no longer afraid, simply chuckled. It seems your magic doesn't work so well from inside the net, does it, powerful genie? The genie, realizing he had been tricked, sputtered in outrage. Omar, with a newfound confidence, continued, Perhaps you should have considered the consequences of threatening someone before revealing yourself in such a dramatic way. The genie, defeated and humiliated, pleaded for his release. Omar, ever the pragmatist, saw a chance to improve his situation. Very well, he said, a mischievous glint in his eyes. But first, grant me three wishes. The genie, with a groan, agreed. Omar didn't ask for riches or power. He wished for a bountiful fishing season, a sturdy boat to navigate the vast ocean, and a comfortable home for his family. The genie, true to his word, granted each wish. With a final puff of smoke, he vanished, leaving Omar a free man with a newfound appreciation for his wit and the simple joys of life. Omar continued his life as a fisherman, but now with bountiful catches and a secure life for his family. He never forgot the lesson learned that day that freedom and resourcefulness are more valuable than any genie's magic, and that even the most powerful beings can be outsmarted by a clever mind. His story became a legend among fishermen, a reminder that sometimes, the greatest treasures are not found in wishes, but in the life you already have.